All right, so Blender can actually import SVG graphics, but I'm over here in Affinity Designer first. I just want to mention that you should really combine your shape together before you export it. So I'm going to select the whole thing here and then uh, simply subtract those shapes from this one so we have this one solid shape. Now we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to use actually the Crop Tool first. Go to File, Export, and I'm going to select the selection area only. So Export and go to, ahead and put it on the desktop. I'm going to call this logo. All right, now we'll go over to Blender. We can click File, Import. We can import SVG Graphic, Scalable Vector Graphic. Uh, there's also SVG for Grease Pencil. Just keep that in mind. Um, but we're going to go ahead and import logo.svg. All right, and it came in, but it's behind this object, and it's really small. Uh, so we can go ahead and, of course, and scale this up. Now, you'll notice that the pivot point is actually at the bottom left of the image. And so to fix that real quick, we can do object set origin origin to geometry here or try any other option uh, we have in here, which is going to put it like so. Now I can also do a snap uh, median align rotation to target. So I can press G, hold control, do something like this, R, X, and type in 9, 0. And do that number and of course we can always uh, go up here transform and there's also align objects here and so we can align this on Y and Z like so all right now when this shape comes in it's actually not mesh it's a curved surface and with that we can go over to the properties for this right here and we can actually extrude this outwards so we could do a number like this if we want and you can see that it's going to end up being triangulated a lot but We'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, so you can extrude it out. You can actually change the resolution of this up here at Resolution Preview. So I'm going to hold Shift while doing this and kind of bump it around. So you can make it more or less resolution, like so. Um, when we come down here, Depth actually bevels this. So we can bevel it out real quick. And we can change the resolution of that as well, simply uh, changing the resolution amount. All right. Now, it is a SVG graphic. Uh, it came in with a material, but you can always reassign that to whatever you want it to be. In this case, I'm going to make everything metal here. So uh, with that in mind, if we want to make this mesh, we just right-click on it, convert to mesh, and there we go. It's now a uh, mesh object here. And so it could be quite challenging to clean these up to make it into all quads and subdivide it and stuff like that. So if you're just doing uh, graphics for uh, render or whatever the case may be, this might work out quite well for you. And if I go into edit mode, though, I want to press A, M, merge by distance. You're going to see a lot of extra vertices are in here. I can also go to the side view, so hit Alt while orbiting. Press 1, select these back vertices. And I'm going to just press X and delete faces. Okay, and it's just going to get rid of the faces back there. You can also select this loop right here. Hit Alt, click that. And uh, we could place the cursor here, so Shift S, cursor to edge you'll see it goes right in the center so we can go back to object mode set origin origin to 3d cursor so just set cursor to selected and then uh, put the uh, origin to the 3d cursor smoothing's a little bit messed up now and that's a consequence of it trying to triangulate everything together uh, so you you'll have to watch out for this one uh, normals auto smooth usually takes care of it and it does a pretty okay job, but it might make things a little bit sharp here or there. And uh, you'll have to run around and check on everything. If you want, you can always um, go in and try to clean things up. So one of the ways you could try doing this is by pressing uh, X and doing a, a limited dissolve. And the first time you do this, you'll actually find little areas like this that just completely go away and erase. The max angle here you can adjust down and uh, might might get some of that coming back a little bit so something like that I'll save you a little bit of a headache there anyways if you're going to try to convert this to sub D also you could try using an automatic remesher such as quad remesher here and if I go ahead and I'm gonna uh, just duplicate this real quick and hide one so pressing H I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, remesh this actually quad remesher does this automatically for you you can see that remesh succeeded and if you look at it, it doesn't look that much different. Um, and it's all now quads. So uh, it's a lot nicer than uh, it was when it comes to topology. But 
probably more high poly now anyways. Uh, but a definitely a good starting point to go around and clean this up, perhaps. Now keep in mind, even though you can't import SVG graphics, sometimes it's easier to just model these uh, with basic geometry and then let subdivision surface take care of the curvature and everything else later on. So even though you can do it this way, it's not always required or even always the best solution. With that in mind, though, you now know how to import the SVG graphics. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll check you out in the next one. Take care.